Hey everybody, Tim Harridge. I wanted to take a minute to talk about the CPI report this week and the PPI report. So, bottom line is, they were both bad, showing that inflation had went down and prices are going down, which is good for us that want the Federal Reserve to stop raising rates. And when you look at it, right, uh, now all of a sudden everyone's worried about deflation. Uh, they're worried about prices going down too much or going down below where they were. So uh, in true uh, overreaction uh, mode, uh, you know, the, the, the U.S. economy, I think the market was up like you know, three or four percent this week. Um, yeah, I mean, so, you know, the CPI was right at um, right, right at three percent uh, year over year. Um, you know, remember the Federal Reserve's target is 2%, so we're really close there. Um, you know, it went up just by like a quarter percent uh, on a monthly basis. And then the producer price index came out the next day, and um, it, it was up less than we thought. It was still up, but it was up less than it was projected um, month over month. It went up only uh, a tenth of a percent. Um, and in the last 12 months, it, it, it's gone up about 6%, but that's still a lot uh, the demand has uh, risen 6%, that is. So, you know, look, these numbers normally would be kind of higher than desired, and that's what the Federal Reserve is going to look at. There's still a vast improvement from last year and even the previous months, so we're doing better. It's they, they're, you know, they say that these policies take 12 to 18 months to, you know, fully take root. So it feels and looks like the interest rate hiking cycle could come to an end. If you notice, a lot of interest rates went down on 30-year mortgages and investor loans this week. Uh, a lot of that has to do with the five and 10-year treasuries kind of have gone down. Um, happy to answer any questions about that down below. I won't get into that in the video. Um, so the Fed's meeting again, July 25th and 26th. It's almost a foregone conclusion at this point that they are going to raise rates. The question is about how much. It could be an eighth of a point, could be a quarter point. Um, but that's kind of already priced in. Um, but then the interesting thing is in August, there's no FOMC meeting, right? In August, they go meet and hang out in Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which hey, who wouldn't want to hang out in Jackson Hole, Wyoming in August, right? Uh, so there's, they're going to be up there in August, which then it gets interesting. Um, uh, so the FOMC will not meet again until September 19th. So... Given the recent easing in kind of CPI and PPI, it is possible that the Federal Reserve Board of Governors could be done hiking rates as soon as July. And I personally, I feel like they're gonna go out and claim victory in their August Jackson Hole uh, press conference. And uh, you know, hey, we did it, been a soft landing, job market's great. Um, I, I, you know, at the end of the day, you can expect it to be data dependent and the data you know, we're still benchmarking off of crazy town and I like to look at five-year trends and straight lines the feds doing year over year and look I mean it, it, it's tough out there so um, you know watch the data pay attention to the reports I'll do my best to bring you updates um, just continue to monitor these developments closely um, they could have significant implications uh, for the markets broader and broader economy um, you know real estate's really hanging in there right now but I'm not sure how much longer it can. Uh, we can't get up to 8% interest rates. So good luck out there and happy investing. Remember, hop on over to timharris.com. There's more detailed articles about this and other things. So let me know how I can help. Be good.